today we are going to take a look on the concept and the mathematical calculation behind the axial formula duration and end duration for this we'll take a example of a bond which has a face value of say hundred dollars settlement date is 31st March 2014 it's been traded for two years so it's uh, maturity date would be 2016 correct coupon is 20 percent yield is four percent and it's traded semi-annually coupons i've taken this example from internet so it's not my own anyways it doesn't matter so since it's uh, two years bond and traded semi-annually so they're gonna be four co four coupons for the time for the time in years at the end of every 0 0.5 1 1.5 and 2 years so the cash flow would be since it's 20% semi annually and 100 is a face value so every time $10 is going to be the cash flow but at the end of this bond we will also receive the face value so the total cash flow is going to be 110 now we will calculate the discounting factor which is 1 divided by 1 plus yield oops 1 plus 1 divided by yield divided by 2 since it's semi annually raised to the power it's period now let's freeze the yield okay yes these are the discounting factors our discounted cash flow would be just the multiplication of discounting factor into cash flows which is here now to calculate the uh, uh, duration of a bond we need the weighted average of the bond so we need weighted uh, weighted cash flow which is going to be weighted discounted cash flow discounted cash flow multiplied by its years time period uh, okay now we'll take the summation of the weighted uh, weighted dis weighted uh, discounted cash flow and discounted cash flow to take the weighted average for this we'll need the summation okay copy paste this is the sum and for calculating a duration of a bond for this bond we just need to divide the weighted uh, weighted cash flow divided by its present value 1.77 the interesting thing is about the duration is that 1.77 is calculated in years the unit of measure in for duration is in years and for m duration we need to further divide the duration by its yield yes. yield divided by frequency 1.462 is duration it's calculated in percentage why uh, the duration has been calculated in years and what does it signify we'll take a look in the part two of this video now let's check whether we have done it correctly or not so duration settlement date is 2014 maturity in 16 coupon is 20% yield is 4% frequency is 2 let's check 1.777 it's correct and for M duration a similar fashion M duration again settlement date Maturity date. Oops. Maturity date. Settlement date. Maturity date. Coupon. Yield. Frequency is two. Again, it's same. So, uh, we have done the mathematical calculation of uh, the M duration and duration of the Excel formula uh, now about the conceptual clarity and logics behind 
these two formula and why duration is calculated in years we'll take a look in the next